Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.11 Codebreaking Machine. So uh, last time, we, we basically got the chokes that we wanted to get, right? We got up here, we got that one. This one, we just need one more system, uh, and we have the influence to do it right now, so may as well get that going. Um, I would like to grab these habitables. It's uh, These ones are both small but decent. I think there was some science bonuses on them. That one is big. And then this one, this system I noticed. Uh, so we have a large habitable and then with pretty decent districts. And then also this pre-FTL is also enormous, another size 25. So it's quite a peach of a system. And then if we're gonna do that, we may as well get the, uh, um, the L gate as well. Um, so I think up here we might do like a star base, a bastion, you know, here or one of those these two worlds and then another one on the, uh, Elgate. Um, diplomatically, economically, we did. We managed to get enormous subsidies from our overlord. Um, I was thinking about it, and I realized that... So last time we switched, we had a research pact with uh, the other vassal with high tech, and we switched it over to be a um, research pact with the overlord when we were started researching techs that the other guy didn't have. And I realized that we should have just gone with the overlords as soon as he offered it to us, because when... We have a diplomatic or a research agreement with the other vassal. We're spending influence, and the other vassal is spending influence. And but when we have it with the overlord, the overlord is spending influence. I think. Um, so, yeah, it sets us back a little bit on influence. But if it's with the overlord, it's setting them back on influence too. So it reduces their like we don't need as much influence to resist changing the agreement because they aren't producing as much either. Um, so. I'm, I'm happy with that development. Uh, I, I was thinking about Starbase Economy. I think we're going to develop this Starbase as well. Uh, and a couple reasons. One is that it's a nice central point to project, to, to kind of be like home for the fleet, to either go up this way or down this way. Um, and then also we have two habitables there uh, and a good place for transit hubs. Um, and for now, we could put like a shipyard and a solar panels there is kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, and maybe move our um, umbilicals over there and put a... Uh, do I have... I have hydroponics. Okay. I should be using those. Um, yeah. I mean, we haven't been really using the umbilicals here because we've had our fleet out, out front. Um, I do think... Well, okay. So this geometry here, we have... I was thinking it was just one exit, but actually it's two. Maybe this might be a dead end. Um... Because if it were just one, then we could, you know, pop up and grab it. But uh, we haven't seen anything as compelling down this branch as we have out here. But we also haven't explored this way. But the branching factor is much higher. So um, I was thinking also, yeah. So given that the branch, I forgot about this branch as well when I was thinking about it in the shower. Um, if we go down here, then we need another star base. We still need one here to guard it. Um, I do think we might pick up another scientist because we do have a lot of exploring to do uh, and we haven't met anybody yet. It might be nice to know at least who's out this way. Start, you know, figuring out who our neighbors will be. Uh, not that we really have the envoys to work on them yet. Um, how do I, how do I have more scientists? No, oh, I have to actually go to the leader's menu, I guess. Because it used to be like, the, we tell you the leader caps up here, but now it's, yeah, I guess I get rid of it. <laughs> um, anomaly research speed would be okay. Because we're going to have a bunch, oh, but we don't have the uh, the unity because we just picked up subterfuge, so it can wait. Um, I We might just make this a tech world instead of a machine nexus. For the time being. It's not like an ideal, you know, it's not what we we're gonna want to be a tech world mid game end game once we have worlds with modifiers that are like the right size but for now it'll save us a little bit um i noticed i overbuilt uh city districts here a little bit and here as well i noticed in previous i, I built two dist city districts in a row I, like i had one building and i was like what do i do next and i built another one um so it was a little bit overbuilt for uh, where we were but uh it'll be okay um, 
I almost feel... So, given that this is coming... Um, the other one. This guy. I think we have a colony ship in production for it. Yeah, we do. Okay. So this big planet... This is probably going to be our first forge world, because the districts are kind of bad. And then I'm thinking maybe we make this one... Um, generator... Yeah, this could be a big, like a fat generator world. Uh, and then maybe transition it to tech later if we get better generator worlds elsewhere. I don't know. Um, what else? I kind of wanted to upgrade my destroyers. Not because I'm really using them, but like, if we have them, we may as well make them decent. As decent as destroyers can be. Um, large weapon slots. Wow. What are they currently? It's currently medium, small, small. Okay. Oh, I guess I should use the other thing. Although I guess once blue lasers come out... Um... Whoa. I don't use destroyers, so I really don't, like, think about my, my naming for them. Okay, so, so not much of a change. Um, yeah, I think we grab our Admiral and, and go poke around a little bit down here. I was also thinking, uh, some of these... Um, like, Bulwark Admirals with plus sensor range? That's huge in the early game for not blundering your Admirals and your fleet into, uh, like, Leviathans and things. So I... Maybe, maybe we hold off until we have the unity to, uh, to pick up, like, a, an Admiral who we won't just, like, accidentally kill. Um, because that's, that's really, really neat, pre-gravitic sensors. System survey complete. I also realized I don't have energy grid like I thought I did, which is kind of a bummer. Survey complete, okay. So that was this. System survey complete. Yeah, speed and sensor range. That's pretty cool. I, I, I'm really curious if this... Yeah, it doesn't say sensor range only in friendly systems. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful about this. It's just a neat combination of traits. Okay, yeah, so I think this is a dead end. Well, maybe. I don't know. One, two, and then... Yeah, I guess we would probably be able to tell. Construction mm -hmm. complete. Okay, so there's our hydroponics bays, which will start taxing our... Or start getting subsidies of food from our overlord. Shields will be good. Energy grids would be kind of good. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, we're not full on pops. We're building jobs out a little ahead of pops here. This one we are, though. We're short amenities. Yeah, okay. All right. So now we're not. Maybe I need another construction ship. That might be a thing that I want. Okay, this survey completed? Yeah. Um. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. 
Some of these tile blockers are mattering now. What is... Because this one has mining... Or no, one of these has... The ones... Yeah, this one had energy, dist energy districts blocked. By dense jungle... And dense jungle... Yeah, okay, so maybe we do pick up dense jungle clearing. Um, so we can unblock those generator districts. How strong is a... Okay, so their, their star bases are about 2k. Our total fleet is... Um, is five, 500 for the destroyers, and then 1,000 there. Okay, so we don't... We're not in a position to crack these uh, upgraded star bases yet. I wonder if we can't see it because nebula, or... Okay. Alright, but no... No cosmic horror or anything, I think. System survey complete. We could pick up another scientist at this point. Yeah, we're gonna want anomaly research speed eventually. That would be okay. XP gain's not too bad. That's so he has level two of discovery, which is only plus five percent. Yeah. Planetary settlement procedure. I could temporarily make him like governor of the. Complete. I just to see if it works the Cancel way I think it does. Ready. Um, trickster on one of our admirals. I think. Um. Trickster, repair, and shield stuff? That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so if I put him here, he gets... Yeah, interesting. Okay. Construction complete. Planetary surface settlement established. anything good within our territory that we can use just to get like some quick quick bonuses I know I said I would use some to go surveying but it's kind of logical acquisition successful star holds um okay a number of decent things here besides like starting the the later techs um robo modding we're gonna want ceramic metal we're gonna want for infrastructure nothing else uh So rope, this is probably tier one, and this is tier two based on the costs. Um, tier two helps push us forward. Ceramo metal is also something we're liable to pick up by stealing tech, at least some partial progress. I'm gonna kick myself in like 30 years when I still don't have it, but. It's finally a habitable, tomb world. Okay, so this is the Tomb World cluster. Um, that would be pretty cool to take. Uh, it's a long way and a lot of influence. But we could make good use of them. Better than most. Um, hmm.
to capital. What do we have here? Coming. Yeah, I mean, we could use a generator drone. Probably don't need two maintenance drones here. Oh, okay, and this one came up. Um, but we still don't have, like, the jobs to, to do much with. This one's going to be a generator world. Once we clear some stuff off. Construction complete. I guess I could just, well, colony designation. Is, what does it even do for machines? Right, so there's the ruined. Stability, amenities. Um, I don't know that that helps us a whole lot. Nebula, so we would still be kind of like sticking our neck out to go in there. Yeah, we can keep up curators, and that works us towards um, the curator like council bonus. System survey complete. I think we get a uh, second construction ship to do automatic. If we were to go this way, I mean, we can survey it at least. Archaeology. Okay, so he's not like the most important guy to keep alive. Archaeology is fine, but. Construction complete. Curators. Oh, so we could um, we could potentially pick them up and uh, get the bonus from having them in our territory. What's up with uh, with envoys and spies and things? So we're still building um, infiltration on them, but our cap did go up because we picked up uh, spycraft. I'm gonna keep calling it that, but subterfuge. But this this node will really kind of. And then I guess we need both to get the uh Okay, and the finisher reduces infiltration cost. Okay. Hmm. System survey complete. So that's another enclave, not uh, technological acquisition successful. Energy grids, very nice. Um, we could finish. Uh, Colonization, we're already halfway there. We're gonna run out of jobs here pretty soon. Crime is starting to rise. We could, um. Could do that. 
And we're out of districts, I think? Yeah. Yeah, we could support a little bit more mining here before we need um, more amenities. But I think the next, after this mining district, we'll do city and uh, um, simulation site. Yeah, soon. Um, we don't have the clearing thing for it yet. That's going to be a forge world. Oh yeah, influence. Absolutely. Another habitable. 17. This is just like spooky how little stuff we're running into. Um, let's, we can swap you here temporarily for the sensors. Technological acquisition successful. We do want terraforming. We do want colonial centralization. Um, those are both really important. Colonial centralization... I think this is just a... I think it's just a building swap on the same tech that everyone else gets. Um, this one tends to get rolled a lot and everyone's going to have it. So I think we, we grab terraforming now. Or at least we started on it. Um, because that's very important for getting uh, climate restoration later. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we could pick this up, uh, you know, sector cap, oh, yeah, that's pretty promising. We're going to have too many planets. Pretty good problem to have, though. Construction complete. We still don't have it filled. Planetary planet. surface settlement established. Um, 4G world. Again, we we're just going to wait on pops for a little complete. while. all this. Terraforming candidates. Weird. What what triggered that? Where? Where is this even? Oh, okay. So we have a couple terraforming candidates back in here. This feels like a unique system that I'm not familiar with. Oh no, okay. So two separate terraforming candidates in two completely separate places at the same time. Eleven months? Yeah, that's enough time to build a thing with just a little bit of lead. Um, Construction complete. System survey complete. Technological acquisition successful. 
Okay. Chemical plants and gravitic sensors are both hard to pass up. I feel like sensors come up more often, but they'd also be very useful, it's useful to us at this point where we're still exploring. Um, yeah, I'm not, not passing on chemical plants though. Construction complete. Construction I feel like complete. getting all these habitables is probably more important than getting the algate. It's going to be a while before the algate matters, too. This could be cut off, we don't even know. I don't think it is, but... And worst case scenario, we grab this one and it just kind of backs up our choke point, so... Okay, gateway. System survey complete. Why is the galaxy so empty? <laughs> Yeah, I think at this point I still want to be spending influence on um, expanding rather than on, well, 76 influence, difficulty 7, pedestrian, that's a fun adjective. Um, how far ahead are we? Are they on tech still? So their lead is diminishing, they're down to 22 techs ahead. What happens if I... Okay, so I don't have to launch it. It will... So it's like 50-50, I think, to succeed on a phase in a given month with skill 2 and difficulty 7. And it, I think steel tech is like 3 phases. So... Like 6 months, maybe? Yeah, maybe we'll start with something a little smaller, with uh, just picking up some assets. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Amoebas. Oh, I should set him to... Um... Yeah, passive. Or... Okay, there's no, like, evasive stance for uh, military fleets. Interesting. Yeah, we don't need to fight them. Construction complete. Council agenda ready. Okay, it was just that my like empire size went up and it needed more progress, I guess. Communications alert. <clears throat> I don't think I need any more research agreements. Uh, we probably do want more fleet though. Since our empire size is rising, so our power projection is falling. How many... I, I, I ordinarily don't invest this heavily in corvettes, unless I'm going early war. It makes me a little bit... Because, like, they, they lose utility once cruisers come out. Although the AI doesn't really build carriers, generally, so maybe I shouldn't be too worried about this.
You have, okay, yeah, you could use an assembly plant at this point. Technological acquisition successful. Um, hmm, these are not my favorite options. Little, little, how long would cruisers take? 83 months? Afterburners are okay. Cruisers are uh, significant, though. I guess we do it. We get the uh, Voidcraft bonus, at least. So that's nice. We could clear... yeah, let's do the big one. Yeah, we have the energy to spend. Oh no, okay. So there's like a 50% chance that we get a good outcome and 50% that we get the same bad outcome we would get otherwise, so... Cool. Planetary alert. Locker expunged. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is the, the crashed station thing um, on Generator World, which gives us the Oracle, I think, right? Um, I, that's pretty good, I think. It's a small world. The blockers will hurt us a little bit. It might keep us from developing into its full potential, but Systems we'll allow complete. it. More habitables. Really? No jobs anywhere? That can't be right. No valid automation. Huh. Sus. System survey complete. Okay, so that's a dead end. That's probably a dead end. Um so yeah, we just push down here and... Council agenda available. Okay, so that's the amenities agenda. Um, we're already kind of struggling with jobs, so I don't feel compelled to free up a bunch of maintenance drones at the moment. I feel like we got a really small capital. Um, I think there's some RNG in like how big your capital size is, but... Maybe I'm just spoiled by resource consolidation and getting all my, my built-in slots unlocked at the beginning. Um, what 
What's I gonna do with the building slot here? Oh, I just needed the housing, maybe? Here I want the energy grid. That's what we're building that for. Okay, so we got an asset. An official. Which I don't know. So he's subterfuge and government. Steel tech is subterfuge and technology. So he's worth plus four to steel tech. So that's pretty decent. Um, and I think... Subterfuge government, and he's worth plus eight to acquire assets, plus eight to prepare sleeper cells. So that's that's uh, that's a pretty solid. That I complete. could hardly have asked for for better. Um, that's also quite a generator world. That, one's, that would be that would be an, a fine tech world with the the energy or the engineering bonus. Mm. Looking at this. one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. So if we put a sector capital here, um, that would cover out to here. Ultimately, we'll probably want. Yeah, and that covers down this way as well. Uh, my thought here, we, we probably, we might want to make this one a sector capital to cover one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah, to cover all this stuff uh, as well as, as these two. But for now, that's fine. Um, I, don't, I don't think I want to hire from that menu. It's just hard to like look at. Opportunist leader trade as counselor, no. Experience gain. I guess we get the experience gain guy. It's, that seems like a bug. I like that, uh, that there was a text swap here for machines. We haven't laid their hands on, we laid their grappling clamps on. Um, I didn't think we had a guy spying on the Giranshu. No. Okay, so it's it's just like an envoy doing diplomacy thing, uh, and we get extra code breaking for it. So that's kind of neat. Why can't you guys migrate? I'm pretty sure there are some open jobs around here somewhere. Maybe I should have picked planetary build speed in uh, engineering. Starting to get worried about unemployment. And housing and stuff. Maybe I shouldn't be building assembly plants. Um, still, still nobody down here? This is a very, like, anybody home, dark forest kind of galaxy. Like, where is everyone? Yeah, let's grab the uh, the generator world. Okay, fine. Uh, maybe. Let's at least. So this one had. Um, I forget what that was that they just built, but. Quantum catapult, fine. Where is that? That's where the destroyers were poking. And that's also a first contact down there. Um, and that seems likely to be an actual empire. How are our 
relations with the uh, the Overlord. Pretty good. Yeah, we can we can take the time to do a first contact. Well, also I guess it's worth asking what the spy network is. Status. Okay, so improving slowly. System survey complete. Yeah, I mean, if we can pick up this whole cluster too for two systems, maybe we're thinking about. Council agenda ready. Oh, no. Manager goods. Construction complete. System survey complete. I don't think we care too much about pre FTL awareness. Yeah, so by the time the grid finishes, we'll want another job. Here. Yeah, we can build more labs. More first contacts. That's a, um, okay, this is the, the shroud guys, the shroud witches. Not to be confused with sandwiches. Spacefaring Civilization. Difficulty 7, that's a little on the high side. Um, yeah, given that we're not actively expanding down this way, I think maybe we just start building up this starbase. Yeah, it's so far to get these, versus here we can pick up some stuff in like two hops. Um, Construction complete. Right, we do have um, upgrades to star hold. I don't know that we want, uh, yeah, that'd be fine for economy. That would be fine for, um, more toxic terraformer. complete. Mm -hmm. 
technological acquisition successful. Zero. That's not very useful to us. Chemical plants. Um, I like hyperdrive. Okay, so this links back around here, probably. I don't know. System survey complete. It's interesting. We had this loop, and then we have this loop. It's it's kind of a loopy galaxy. Construction complete. Hangar bays are pretty quick to build. Um, I don't know that the uh, solar panels they would pay for themselves before we have to want to switch them over, but it's still a long way from these guys down here to there. Not that far though, I guess. Yeah, okay, so there's our link up. You're going to want more amenities soon. Still have some mining jobs left. Uh, I do probably want a simulation site here, though. My mineral income is growing pretty quick, so I'm okay with that. Um, here. We're going to want more amenities sooner than we're going to want more, uh, like, generator. But we can work on clearing other generator blocker. Yeah, that one. Construction complete. Okay, so they're probably friendly. Yeah, cool. Oh. Winseth 3, the one we're observing. Um, you know, the last time I did this, they just blew themselves up. I don't remember if I had to do something to escalate, or if I had to already have infiltrated. Um, I'm so sorry, little otter man. Are, is your species actually cute? This is the most important factor right now. Nah, not really. We'll hit the button and see what happens. I don't... Okay, yeah, I don't... None of these options are, like... Stop nukes, so... Rip, probably. But hey, two worlds, you know, fine. System survey complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Wow, we're actually starting to link up with, uh... The Overlord. Successful. Um, we're not really blocked on either of those. That leads to more espionage stuff. Naval Logistics Offices are really good. Um, network junctions we can't really use yet, but... Planetary Settlement Procedure Initiated. We'll uh, build the um, simulation site with that slot. We could we could do another um, research lab. What are my subsidies at now? Two or two? <laughs> yeah, when the Overlord falls apart, that's gonna get ugly. We don't have upgraded alloy foundries. 
Um, simulation site would be okay though. Council agenda ready. Construction complete. Council agenda ready. Ugh. I always do this. I always say I'm gonna play tall, and then I end up making these huge land grabs. Nice, got some influence for first contact. Xenophile materialists, locations. delightful. Let's uh, let's see your borders though. Where are you? Are you down here. Alert. Okay, so they're mostly down this way. Supposedly they had another contact, but I don't see it. Hmm. Um. Okay, and we are going to be expanding against them on this side as well with uh, with this land grab. We did pick up some more influence there. I think the safe bet is to get like here and then assume that they'll expand here. Um, I don't haven't seen any there's no habitables in here. I haven't, we haven't seen anything really compelling. Um, certainly we could have missed something, but let's go check the corners, I guess. Oh, interesting. So we it, it's Okay, I thought it was like you had to finish both to get it all three. Um, hmm. The available envoy would be pretty good. That doesn't matter at all against AI. Um, yeah, infiltration speed would help us. With our spy network on the... They no longer want a research agreement. So it would cost all of our infiltration to steal tech from them. Um, yeah, I think I would still rather have the. Uh, okay, and we are we're not using one of our envoys, which we could be using to improve relations with them, uh, or with our overlord. We would like to hold on to our research agreement with them and our uh, all of our subsidies and stuff. So. Construction complete. System survey complete. Okay. Why was I building an exit? Oh, because we need more. But I don't need the jobs. I have the jobs. Um, I mean, we could do the simulation site. That would be more, more productive than maintenance drone jobs for the equivalent. Uh, Construction complete. We can wait a little a little while to take that, I think. Yeah, we can maintain curators. So it's getting more expensive. Oh, 50 influence for fundamental principles of knowledge. Um it might be worth. I don't I wonder if it increases uh Yeah, curator principles, cognitive node. So that does increase calculator upkeep permanently. Hmm. Oh, we could have just done administrative array for, uh, we could still cancel the Nexus. Size 11 planet, nine. Yeah, we have space to do two Nexus districts and 
then all generators after that. Construction complete. So there's habitable back in that corner. I don't know if it's worth taking two more systems for one habitable, especially one that's way out here. One, two, three. Yeah, it's, it's it will be its own sector. It's far away from everything. That might be our sector capital here for this this whole mess, rather than uh, Gathrica like originally planned. I kind of want to go poke out this way. We have an idle, um, uh, several several things idle. Yeah, you go. Um, Upgrade you and put our sensor guy. Well, let's let's split off a Corvette first and then put him on it. No, we're using the sensors guy, um, but we can to to check the corners here. Mining is okay. We could be, if we have uh, jobs, we could be shifting people elsewhere. Planetary surface settlement established. So that's all different blockers to clear to get the uh, the generator districts. What's the upkeep on a machine assembly plant? If I wanted to build early two, I can live with it. We can we can turn it off if we end up in an energy crunch. Cruisers. The mining stations thing is okay. Not amazing, but okay. Okay, so there's also not a habitable here. So, yeah, I don't really feel compelled to go. I mean, that's pretty nice, but... Um, given our influence situation, I don't really feel compelled to go push down that way. Versus, like, picking up the Elgate or, like, filling back in here a little bit. System survey complete. That's a lot of... It's pretty good. Council agenda ready. More habitables. We're right around an hour. Um... Decent progress. So we met. We met a neighbor. We did a little bit of spying, uh, and and we did this whole land grab. So we picked up four more, five more habitable worlds in our space. Um. Yeah, it's uh, I when when the Overlord falls apart though, this is gonna, it, it'll be an interesting energy crunch. I think we'll be okay. We have a big bank. Um. And we're okay on minerals, so yeah, we're, we're in an okay spot. Uh, our fleet could be bigger. Maybe it's worth, well, hmm.
Yeah, we could attach some cruisers to the destroyer fleet. Building holes that we'll at least use later. Forty, forty-four. No. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, thirty-six. Right. Yeah. Can't add. Um. Yeah, we have the have the alloys. So. Okay. Thank you all for watching.